Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a website in PrestaShop in 2024. So uh, this guide will show you the process of creating a website in PrestaShop from scratch from the beginning. Whether you are starting an online store or looking to revamp your current sites, this site or this step-by-step -step guide will help you get up and running with PrestaShop in 2024. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can do whatever you want. All you need to do, of course, first of all, go to the URL section. Just type prestashop.com. Here, make sure to click on Get Started and make sure to download the classic if you want to use it, of course, but you'll need the hosting provider. Uh, one of the options that they provide, or one of the partners that they provide, there's Hostinger, I guess, there's uh, some other options. And if you don't, you can simply use uh, this option, which is with Hosted. Uh, so all you need to do, but it's paid, as you can see, we get 14 days free trial to try it out before you pay. And if you don't want to pay any penny, because like the hosting provider will require a plan and for this one to require a plan. If you don't want to pay anything, make sure to download this one or follow this article as an example to open a new tab. Just type install as an example, pre star like, so pre star shop on local host and hit the enter button. Here as you can see, click on the first link. And as you can see here, there's a whole article on how to install it on your own computer. So you don't have to pay a penny. You'll just go and host it on your PC. So the steps outlined in here, and the details are in here. So follow this one by one as example. So they'll show you how to install a local server application. If you wanna, if you know how to do this just by reading the steps, you can do it by your own. If you don't know, you can follow this uh, the exact details and steps here. And of course, I've already made a video about it if you want to check it out. So as you can see, download that, paste the three files contained, zip files, start the servers, create the database, then rename or delete the install folder from the folder containing your stored files. And these steps are described below, as you can see. So once you finish all of those steps, you will have access to the store that you just created, front office and back office for oh, it. For me, I'll just choose a demo to show you exactly how it's going to be. So as you said, we would like to create a new website on it. So normally when you create, when you follow those steps on localhost or if you do it on a hosting or whatever it is, you'll find yourself with a theme that's already created as a test for you to test out things on it. But for you, if you want to simply start a new one, you will need to go and access the back office. For so example, this is going to be the website that's already like created by its own. For me, I'll just go here and click on explore the back office so I can uh, go and access of course like parameters then general and then simply just to go and do a lot of stuff because we'll need to access uh, like the control panel we'll be able to manage all aspects of your store uh, from products and orders to customers and settings a lot of stuff so here I'll just try to access the demo of course the demo might be a little slow uh, also like if you install it on your local host if your pc is slow so it's going to be a little bit slow it does not matter so all you need to to do simply be patient a little bit so once you are in the back office of course as we said you'll need to go to shop parameter click on general go and set up your store name example default language country currency navigate to the preferences sao and urls configure the website url structure and these settings make sure that you save all the changes that you make as example just in case so let me just refresh the page it seems like it's taken so much and of course, once you do so, you'll be able to start creating some categories and adding products into it. Uh, you'll be able to customize the theme or look for new themes if you didn't like a lot. Pre Stashop normally offers just a few free themes. Others will be paid. So keep that in mind. And of course, you can set up your payments and shipping methods. You can go to payments methods and configure like the payments get where you want to offer, such as PayPal, Stripe, credit card payments, and a lot of other stuff you can that you can check. So let me just refresh again. As I said, this will be slow a little bit, so we don't mind that. And of course, you can also like uh, access the, or navigate into shipping, then carriers, set up some shipping methods. You can enter details like carrier name, transit time, and even some shipping fees. 
you can make sure to test like the payments and shipping setup to ensure everything is working correctly so as you can see that's going to be it here as you can see so this uh, the, this mode displays sample data so you can try your dashboard without real numbers so as you can see we are on uh, the demo mode of course you can view your store here if you click on it you'll be able to view your store and as we said to create a website first of all you can go to the shop parameter first of all as you can see here if we go and click on it you'll find a lot of stuff so if you go here and click on general as an example this example is going to be the shop that's already created here as you can see so people have access to kind of everything you can try everything out and yeah so as you said here uh, we are on general so normally uh, you should not find like this if it's your first time you'll find like an option to create a store but normally uh, as i said once you install or download the presta shop the website should be created automatically with it if you didn't like it of course all you need to do you can simply change the themes and etc you cannot just go and try to do something from the beginning so if you go here to design example there is theme and logo uh, where you can start change uh, changing the theme as example so for me i had just one at the moment here you can change the logo as an example uh, the themes if you, so this is going to be the, the the current themes you can choose the layout of that theme as example as you can see a lot of things to change if you want to uh, for this you can change the page configurations and even some advanced customizations of course you can download your current theme and it's your theme uh, child theme and even upload your child theme example if you have one so basically to create a website you will need to do a lot of stuff as we said starting from configure basic settings on the shop parameter you have here a lot of things settings to settings to uh, configure from ssl to a lot of stuff so here as you can see enable whatever you want disable whatever you want here in maintenance this basically if you want to maintain uh, to do something uh, some like change on your stuff you can simply uh, enter an ip here maintenance ip which will allow addresses to access the store even in maintenance mode and use a comma to separate them as an example and other than that if you change like the parameters however you want as we said you can uh, change the product settings and etc you can change the theme and once you do so if you can start like creating some categories if you go here to catalog uh, create some categories add some products as example to your account or to your store sorry or to your website whatever it is and yeah after that you can customize the theme we already went through that you can set up some payments as example options so if you go here to payments there's payments methods as you can see so there is a lot of payments option you can install any option that you want like from stripe paypal revolut whatever you want as you can see amazon pay a lot of things that you want you can even configure the one that will let you go with the mastercard and visa card and which is presta shop checkout built by paypal and yeah once you set up the payments and shipping methods i guess all it's gonna be good you're ready to publish your store without any problems and you should be good to go you can even preview it on desktop phone landscape and portrait and tablets and you should be good to go so this is gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and goodbye